Welcome back. You know, those who are fans of the channel will know that I'm not a huge fan of noise reduction systems. It's just a personal preference, but I do still think they're ingenious processes, and in this episode, we're going to take some time to talk about Dolby noise reduction systems, and we'll record some music with and without them to try to distinguish the differences. Stay tuned. Now, if you owned a cassette deck back in the day, there's no doubt that you're familiar with Dolby noise reduction. But for our experiment today, we're going to be concentrating on Dolby B and C noise reduction. These were definitely the most common variants that were available for home use from about the 1970s onward. Dolby B noise reduction was developed after Dolby A, which was the professional system used in recording studios and Dolby B was introduced in 1968. It consisted of a single sliding band system and provided about 9 decibels of noise reduction. It was primarily developed for use with cassette tapes. It was much simpler than Dolby A and therefore a lot less expensive to implement, especially in consumer products. Dolby B recordings are also acceptable when they're played back on equipment that does not possess a Dolby B decoder such as a lot of inexpensive portable and car cassette players of the time. Without the de-emphasis effect of the decoder, the sound will be perceived as brighter as the high frequencies tend to be emphasized, which can also be used to offset the dull high frequency response of the inexpensive equipment. However, Dolby B provides less effective noise reduction than Dolby A did, generally by a factor of more than three decibels. Dolby C type noise reduction was introduced in 1980. It provides about 15 decibels of noise reduction in the 2 kHz to 8 kHz region where our ears are more highly sensitive and most tape hiss is concentrated. It's actually constructed by combining the effect of two Dolby B systems together, a high level stage and a low level stage, with an expansion to lower frequencies. As in Dolby B, a sliding band technique which is the operating frequency varies with the signal level, it helps to suppress the undesirable breathing, which is often a problem with many other noise reduction techniques, such as DBX. As a result of the extra signal processing, Dolby C type recordings will sound much worse when they're played back on equipment that does not have the required Dolby C decoding. Some of this brightness could be mitigated by using Dolby B on playback, which actually serves to reduce the strength of the high frequencies. Now that we have a solid background of what they are and what they do, let's record some selections from the YouTube audio library onto three different types of cassettes. I have a brand new metal Type 4 cassette, a chrome cassette, which is Type 2, and a Type 1 ferret cassette. Let's see if Dolby noise reduction makes a difference on one type of tape versus another, or what the varying levels are depending on the type of tape. All right, so we're going to do this three different ways. For each type of tape, we're going to record it without Dolby noise reduction, we're going to record it with Dolby B encoding, and then we'll record it with Dolby C encoding. Then we'll play each one back accordingly to see if we can hear any difference.
So what did you think? Did you hear any difference? Do you have one you prefer over another? Or did anything surprise you? If so, let me know down in the comments. I like to read through and I'll answer as many as I can. Like I say, Dolby noise reduction, I think, is something that's much of a personal preference for people as anything else. So I'm not going to tell you what's the right thing or the wrong thing to do. I think that's up to you to decide. Well, I appreciate you watching today. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. A lot of the people that watch the videos aren't subscribed, and you have no idea how much that helps me out. So please click that button below. Until next time, thanks for watching the Vintage Electronics channel.